So today's show, it seems like a lot of people are voting for $100,000. That's what they really want. So, you know, maybe who wants to be a millionaire, but who wants to be a broadcaster is what I really want to ask. And you know what? Yes, I'm doing it right here. I may have some ideas, but you are the head of the Mississippi Association of Broadcasters. No one better than to talk about it than you. When you see kids in the community, adults maybe too, what are the first things they say to you when they say, I want to become a broadcaster? Well, it's interesting. Most of the time, the question I get is, tell me what you do. <laughs> and I always say, I'm the executive director for the Mississippi Association of Broadcasters. And then the next question is, so what does that mean? Okay. And right. were you in radio or TV before? And I was like, well, I get to work with all the radio stations and all the television stations throughout the state of Mississippi. And everyone's like, that is the coolest job. And I'm like, I know it really <laughs> is because I just, uh, I love it. Love working with all of the stations. Y'all are all amazing. And it was interesting. We had our young professional event the other night and we did a little video of, okay, tell us why you like to be a broadcaster. And everybody talked about the broadcast community and how much they love their jobs, but it's just a really cool gig. And thinking about um, sports is so huge right now and thinking about the colleges and universities. So we do MAB day on campus at Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Southern, Alcorn, and JSU. And when you go and talk to them about, you know, what is it that you want to do? And, you know, what is your passion? And we're about to put videos on our website that different stations did that's like three minutes. Like, what does it look like a day in the life of yeah. a meteorologist or a day in the life of a salesperson? Because people th forget about the yeah. fact that sales are really important in our industry. And yeah. most of our stations need salespeople right now. Exactly. So That's a great point. before long, you're going to be able to go to our website in about a week or so and click on those and you can see what it's like. That's so cool. Yeah, I mean, look, I would have loved to have had this, these resources when I was a student, and it's really impressive. You know, I, I, maybe I won't bring up specific schools, but there are some high schools here that have better technology than there are colleges. I mean, it has grown, so no longer is it only college can provide broadcasting skills. Now these schools are doing it. It is so impressive. Does that... I mean, when you see that stuff, what do you think? I know it's amazing. I was just talking to two of the ladies from Madison. <laughs> and again, I probably shouldn't bring up a specific uh, school, but they were just on the show. And we were talking about the radio and TV shows that they have in their high amazing. schools and the numerous awards that they get as a result of it. So love the fact that like we're grooming these um, students in high school to go into college and then to come, you know, be broadcasters in our field. That's awesome. You know, and it's really impressive is, is a lot of these broadcasters come out of school way better than when I was coming out of school. And I'm sure it's like that every single year. It just keeps getting better, just like the athletes get better in college and professional sports. Have you noticed that, that these, that they come out so much like more polished than they ever did before? They really do, and it's it's amazing. We always do, now we do a social the night before our MAB day on campus, and we invite the broadcasters to come, and we invite the seniors to come, and they are so polished. It's they crazy. really are. It's amazing. And then the next day, we review their reels and their resumes and just kind of give them some pointers, but I mean, nine times out of ten, they're ready to go. I, I know, and then I just started in a smaller market, and these kids, they started in the top 100 market. I'm like, wow. Okay, there's a mother, there's a father watching this show right now, and their kid is showing interest in this. You got any lessons, life lessons to tell them about? Um, I just <laughs> think that they should definitely encourage them to do it. Mm -hmm. It is um, a wonderful career, and... <laughs> um, I just think that, you know, you should definitely encourage them. <laughs> no, I absolutely. And I always and I always tell people, look, it's a tough job. You, you know, you're not going to always, uh, you know, I guess make the big bucks right away. But there is a path to it. And there's a path to greatness in this job. It's just it's a tough one. But at the same time, it's an enjoyable one because you get to do some of the most fun things in the world. You know, I get to go to football games I guess, quote unquote, for free, you know, it's a, I'm, I'm working, right? But I get to go sit on a sideline. I get to watch Alabama against Ole Miss, Mississippi State play, you know, and, and it's like, wow. And, and you just get to do that and, you, and it's work, but it's fun. But it's really cool. <laughs> and uh, everything that you get to do in the community and for the community, thinking 100%. about um, natural disasters and just if it wasn't for our stations, just imagine some of those people would have nothing at that point in time. Before I let you go, 
If they want to go find MAB yeah. and go learn more about you guys, where do they go? www.msbroadcasters.org. <laughs> there you go. That's really easy. All right, before I let you go, question of the day. I don't what? Know, have, you, have you seen it? What Is this want? about travel or $100,000? Yes. Okay, but I have to know a little more about you're what the travel you're entails. Such a, you're such a journalist. Okay, so the travel <laughs> is, is travel for the rest of your life for free. Or 100K right then and there. But what does it include? Does it include the hotel? Does it include the airfare? Does it sure, include sure. food? Let's, yeah, yeah, we could do oh, that. Then I would go for the travel. You think you could make up the 100K? I think so. I think I could do it. Amanda, thank you so much for stopping by. We always thank appreciate you. Thank you for you. having me.